Hello, all my wonderful friends. I'm Artie from the Okanagan Regional Library. I'm the Youth Services Librarian from the Salmon Arm Branch, and I am here to do a song time rhyme time with you. So are you ready? Excellent. Let's get going. Do you know the song, When Cows Get Up in the Morning? Hmm. Well, if you don't, now's a good time to learn it. And if you do, sing along with me. Here we go. When the cows get up in the morning, they always say good day. When cows get up in the morning, they always say good day. Is that what they say? No. What do they say? That's right. Moo, 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 moo. That is what they say. Moo, 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 moo. That is what they say. Okay. Well, what if it was a pig? When pigs get up in the morning, they always say good day. When pigs get up in the morning, they always say good day. Is that what they say? No. What do they say? That's right. Oink, 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 oink. That is what they say. Oink, 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 oink. That is what they say. Good job. Okay, what if it was a nice, soft, little kitty cat? When cats get up in the morning, they always say good day. When cats get up in the morning, they always say good day. Is that what they say? No. What do they say? Yes. Meow, 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 meow. That is what they say. Meow, 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 meow. That is what they say. Okay. What if I was a teeny, tiny, little ladybug? When ladybugs get up in the morning, they always say good day. When ladybugs get up in the morning, they always say good day. Is that what they say? No. What does a ladybug say? You're right. A ladybug doesn't say anything, do they? Ready? That is what they say. That is what they say. Good job. Say bye, ladybug. We'll see you later. Now, I have some bottles here that I'm going to put onto this green board. The problem is, my bottles, what color are they? They're green. So they might be a little, little hard to see, but you hang in there, okay? You try this with me and see if you can, you can do this song with me. So we've got one green bottle, and now we've got two. Can you even see the number two on there? It's so dark, it's hard to see. And that's three green bottles, and Right, four green bottles, and now we have five green bottles. Okay, here we go. Five green bottles hanging on the wall. Five green bottles hanging on the wall. And if one green bottle should accidentally fall, there are how many? Let's see. One, two, three, four. Four green bottles hanging on the wall. Four green bottles hanging on the wall. And if one green bottle should accidentally fall, there are how many? One, two, three. Three green bottles hanging on the wall. Three green bottles hanging on the wall. And if one green bottle should accidentally fall, there are how many now? One, two. Two green bottles hanging on the wall. Two green bottles hanging on the wall. And if one green bottle should accidentally fall, there is how many? One. One green bottle hanging on the wall. One green bottle hanging on the wall. And if one green bottle should accidentally fall, there are how many? That's right. No green bottles hanging on the wall. They're all gone. You were so good at that. 
I'm going to do a fun little tickle one with you. Do you know this, the rhyme, there was an old bee who lived in a barn? So this is my little bee. And he likes to go, sting, sting. <gasps> Did you see that? He's going to do it again. Sting, sting. <gasps> oh, my goodness. Okay, here he is. And you can have your mom or your dad or your big brother or big sister or some family member that's with you. You can have them do this if you like to be tickled because this is a tickling one. But if you don't like to be tickled, don't tell them about this one. Keep it a secret. Here we go. There was an old bee who lived in a barn who carried a stinger right under his arm. And the stinger went sting, sting. And again, sting, sting. There he goes. Say bye-bye, Mr. Bumblebee. So nice of you to join us today. He's so soft. He's... We love bumblebees, don't we? They're so good. Okay, can you give me five fingers? That's right. One, two, three, four, five. Awesome. Here we go. One, two, three, four, five. <gasps> I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. <gasps> I let him go again. Why did you let that fishy go? Because he bit my finger so. Which finger did he bite? The little pinky on the right. Oh no, the fish bit the little finger. Oh dear. Okay, let's try that one again. One, two, three, four, five. I caught a fish alive. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I let him go again. Why did you let that fishy go? Because he bit my finger so. Which finger did he bite? The little pinky on the right. Oh, that poor little pinky. You can have somebody go give your little pinky a kiss better, okay? Nice. And have you ever heard of the noble Duke of York or the grand old Duke of York? They're both the same kind of song. I was just raised with the, term, the words, the noble Duke of York. I'm going to tell you to go to the top of the hill. And when I do, I want you to get really, really tall. And then when I tell you to go to the bottom of the hill, I want you to get down really, really low and see if you can follow along. We'll do it a couple of times so that you can do it. Uh, you can figure it out. Here we go. Oh, the noble Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. Oh, when you're up, you're up. And when you're down, you're down. And when you're only halfway up, you're neither up nor down. Let's try it again, okay? That may have been a surprise to some of you. Here we go. Oh, the noble Duke of York, he had 10,000 men. He marched them up to the top of the hill and he marched them down again. Oh, when you're up, you're up. And when you're down, you're down. And when you're only halfway up, you're neither up nor down. Good job. Wonderful job. Okay. And our last song today is by, written by Charlotte Diamond. And she has given us special permission to sing this song to you. Isn't that so, so wonderful? Now, Charlotte Diamond. Which Charlotte Diamond song are we going to sing? Slippery Fish. Yay. Can everybody get your Slippery Fish out? Here we go. Slippery fish, slippery fish, swimming in the water. Slippery fish, slippery fish. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh no! It got eaten by an octopus, octopus, squiggling in the water. Octopus, octopus. <clears throat> <clears throat> oh no! It got eaten by a tuna fish, tuna fish, gliding through the water. Tuna fish, tuna fish. <clears throat> oh no! It got eaten by a 
great white shark, a great white shark, lurking through the water. A great white shark, a great white shark. Um, um, um. <gasps> oh no! It got eaten by a uh, what? That's right, humongous whale, humongous whale, spouting through the water. Humongous whale, humongous whale. Um, um, um. Oh, and what does our whale say? <gasps> and then what does he say because he's a whale with manners? Excuse me. What a good whale. It's been so fun singing with you. Can you reach up high and tickle the sky? Now reach down low and tickle your toes. Now look around and tickle your nose. Reach down low and reach up high. Story time's over. Let's wave goodbye. See you later, alligator, in a while, crocodile. Give a hug, ladybug, blow a kiss, jellyfish. Thank you so much for singing with me.